The great composer Puccini wrote famous operas like La Boheme or Madame Butterfly. Towards the end of his life, he was battling terminal cancer, and he began to write another opera, Torndo, which many consider his best opera. He worked on the score day and night, despite his friend's advice to take it slow and rest and conserve his strength. Puccini's answer to the disciples were, if I don't finish this, you must. He died in 1924 before completing the opera. So his disciples, his students, all got together and studied the rhythm of the opera and the story about a princess in Peking who has tests to give her suitors, and if they don't pass the test, she has them killed. The world premiere was performed in Milan in 1926. Toscanini was the conductor, and he stood and directed the orchestra until a certain point, and he put the baton down. And he said to the audience, thus far the master wrote, and then he died. And there was a long pause. Then he picked up the baton again and said, but his disciples finished the work. The opera closed to thunderous applause and became a permanent place in the annals of great works. Something similar happens today as we celebrate Pentecost. In a sense, Jesus puts down the baton and his disciples pick it up. It was the sending of the Spirit that really energized the disciples and gave them confidence that they could continue the work. Up to that point, they had locked themselves in, in the upper room, afraid of what might happen to them. And a, a transition takes place. We sometimes refer to this as the birthday of the church. That feast when the Spirit seems to encircle the disciples and have them make great music, if you will, by preaching the word and sharing what Christ has done for all of us. And there is a lesson here for you and me. We need to look at our own lives or the lives of others and see where there are so many problems to be addressed and we just lock ourselves up in the upper room. But in a, in a real sense, we need to be aware that the Spirit has been given to us as well. The Spirit that can make us courageous in certain circumstances. A Spirit that can give us the wisdom to make right judgments. Maybe you and I need to say, do I need courage in my life right now? I need to call upon the Spirit. If I'm making a, an important decision, I need to call upon the Spirit. It is incumbent on all of us to continue to embrace the mission that Christ started. And now the baton is in our hand. Thus far the Master wrote, and we his disciples must continue the work. <laughs>